Okay, if you're planning on vacationing abroad this summer, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention recommends basic preparation tips and to be aware of health and safety risks during your travels. And joining us this morning is Dr. Suma Manjunath from Kelsey Seabold Clinic. Good morning and thank you for joining us. Thank you very much for having now, me. What exactly should we be thinking in terms of if we're planning a, a, a trip overseas? Because we here in this country are very concerned about health, but that may not be the case when we visit another country. That's correct. So first of all, I think it's very important to have a detailed plan of where you will be and what are the local uh, healthcare resources in case you need to avail them. And also in case you have to prepone your travel for some dire health needs and return back to the US, what are your action plans and how you're going to do it. And also it is very, very important to have travelers insurance along with the healthcare insurance we all have and for dire health needs, it's also important to have medevac insurances for wilderness travel or mission trips or um, any business travel that would incorporate going to remote places of the world for um, various reasons. So those are really important things. But just for family fun trips, I think some of the important things to do is one, avail um, appointment at the travel health clinics. And we at Kelsey Seabold have multiple locations. So so please take advantage of that and take an appointment at least three to four weeks before traveling. The reason being there are many um, diseases that are ongoing across the world and depending on the destination, certain diseases are more prevalent. For example, maybe going to parts of Vietnam or Indonesia may entail you needing a Japanese encephalitis vaccine or things like that. So in that case, it would be very important to uh, have adequate time to get completely immunized and also be protected from the um, particular disease so that you can safely undertake the travel. So always seek a consultation at least three to four weeks prior and the travel health consult involves going through the medications that you are already on um, or if you need any, any interactions, vaccinations, what are the indications to take certain vaccines, what you shouldn't take based on your pre-existing health conditions, and also preventative measures like for stomach flu, what do you do, oral rehydration salts, um, medications for travelers' diarrhea, multiple things are covered during the travel health consult. So it is imperative it, uh, to seek um, a care from one of the travel health clinics and go over everything and be adequately prepared before you undertake the travel. And speaking mm. of going over yeah. everything, one thing that I think that people should really think about is the, what to do if you do have a medical emergency. So does that mean maybe in advance looking up emergency numbers, making sure you find out the protocol in another country of who to contact if you have a problem? Sure. That is right. So obviously every country has their own medical system. And so keeping that in mind, it would be very good to have some information on how to approach for any care, for example, a simple thing that could involve just a cut or you happen to have a fall and, you know, need care to rule out injuries like fractures or needing more attention, um, maybe a heart attack or whatever it is. It is something that is so important to know the nearest healthcare facility and what are their facilities there in terms of what they can offer. And if you need to go to a larger center, what is the timeline to get there? All of those kind of have an idea or a big picture of how you're gonna execute it in case of such emergencies. Great considerations that we need to take into consideration. Yes, yes. Thank you so very much, Doctor. So thank you very much. Helpful info coming into us from Kelsey yes. Siebel.